Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing another um, Halloween nail set for you guys. And I'm also going to be trying out these new nail powders I got. So I'm going to be doing an ombre to see how it looks and everything and see how it works. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So starting off these nails, I'm using these album shaped nail tips and I'm just going to quickly buff them off camera, just on a quick transition. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get straight on to the design. So the first thing I'm starting with is um, the base, which is what which I decided to use um, a nude gel polish. Um, I think this gel polish is from My Gel by I bought it off of Amazon and the colour is caramel. Quick reminder guys, um, for anyone who's here, I do sell press on nails, um, they're affordable and they come with everything you need to like keep them on for a very long time. And also because Halloween is coming up, you might want a cute set of nails. So if you're interested, make sure to go down in the description below and the link for um, to my Etsy store where I sell the nails is down below. So now for this set of nails, I'm planning to do an ombre design, so basically, um, I think my auntie um, got me these new nail powders that she saw. Um, I just wanted to try them out and I, I'd, I had nail powders but I just never used them so I wanted to see if I could do like an ombre design without having to use any like other thing like gel or poly gel um, and yeah so that's what I'm planning to do today. So as you just saw I finished my first coat of the new gel polish and now I'm moving on to the second coat just to make it more opaque and not like thin or anything. Because I don't like when person nails um, too thin. Because sometimes you can see like if you use um, anything other than like um, glue. Sometimes even with glue you can see like the um, inside. So that's why I like to make them nice and um, not thin. <laughs> So and now I'm opening the nail powder which I'm going to use on these nails. I just had to move the nails out of the way because um, I didn't want any of the powder to get on it while opening it. And yeah, I'm using this bright neon orange. Um, it's actually really nice. It looks really nice on camera. Um, and yeah, basically to ombre um, the powder onto the nail, I'm going to take a little bit on just one end of, I don't know what to call those. I can't remember the name for them. But yeah, um, those like sponge things. <laughs> which I'm using to um, rub the powder into the nail. Um, so basically I cure the nail um, and then I don't wipe um, the top layer with alcohol so it's still sticky on the top so um, the nail powder will stick down. And then after that, after I put the main part of the nail powder, I get another um, one of these spongy things and I like smooth it in between. Um, which kind of creates an ombre effect and like smudges it out which I think looks really nice I usually only do ombre with like something like poly gel or gel um, which I haven't been doing a lot recently probably because I can't keep on the nails so that wouldn't make any sense um, leave in the comment section though if you want me to do another poly gel set because I still have a bunch of poly gel which I just kind of didn't don't use right now but yeah, that's how I done the ombre on these nails. I think it turned out really nice. I think um, even without like the Halloween decorations, um, it would be like a really nice set um, just alone. I also tried um, this pink on TikTok, which you can check um, on my TikTok, which is down below in the description if you're interested. And it literally was such a like summer design i really want to do those nails for the summer because they look so nice they're just not right for like now i would say but definitely in the summer i'm gonna do that nail design so now i'm just starting with this mini ghost design um basically i'm taking um the dotting tool end of the nail art brush i'm just putting little circles in like random places and then i'm gonna take the brush and um kind of call it like tail I don't know how to describe it but you will see um, and it looks it turns out really cute um, I really love like the mini ghost and everything with like cute little eyes and everything it's really cute um, but yeah I didn't use that tiny brush um, I switched over to this bigger one because that one was too small I also add the little arms which you can, which you can see here 
and for this now I'm going to do a spider web design but I literally changed the whole colour I changed it to black because i had done this like three times and something was just not right um, the first time I literally just messed up the design the next time um, it was the white that was off it was just like it didn't go with the colours so I changed it to black um, I think it went okay um, I could have like neatened up the design a little bit with the black but um, yeah now I'm moving back onto the um, ghost. I'm just drawing on their little eyes, which are really cute. Like I, <laughs> I really love them. And now finishing off the nails, I'm just using some top coat. Um, and yeah, these nails, this nail design will be done. And um, also leave a comment down below telling me um, if you like this design and what other designs you want to see. Um, because I'm going to do one or two more designs for Halloween. Um, depends. Like, one won't make as much sense, but the other will. So these nails are now all done, I hope you like the design, make sure to like and subscribe um, if you like this video and you want to support the channel and yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you later, bye!